Many years ago, I watched a documentary that claimed something remarkable. There's no cure for the common cold, but rinsing the nose with a saline solution could prevent most colds, something like two thirds of them. Whether that number is exact or not, it immediately caught my attention because rinsing the nose is already part of the Islamic ritual of wudu, which prepares worshipers for the five daily prayers. Now, the medical saline solution used in studies is far more aggressive. It flushes the entire nasal cavity with a salt solution, something most people simply won't do every day. But modern research has confirmed the basic idea. Saline irrigation can shorten the duration of colds, reduce viral spreading, and lowers the amount of medication people need. So what about wudu? Does the simple act of sniffing water into the nostrils and blowing it out do anything measurable? Surprisingly, yes. Studies have shown that a single wudu can cut nasal bacterial load by more than half, and worshippers who perform it regularly tend to carry fewer potentially harmful bacteria than people who do not. And in crowded environments like the Hajj pilgrimage, a more deliberate nasal rinse performed alongside ablution has been shown to reduce symptoms such as cough, runny nose, and nasal blockage. Why would such a small rinse make a difference? Because the nose is the body's air filter. It catches viruses, bacteria, dust, and allergens. A quick rinse clears out some of that debris, supports the nose's natural self-cleaning system, and lowers the starting load of germs that you breathe in. And when you combine that with Lou with built-in hand washing and mouth rinsing, you get a miniature hygiene protocol repeated throughout the day, centuries before germ theory. So the science is clear. A simple ritual act designed for physical and spiritual purity beautifully supports respiratory health. SubhanAllah. So